Well, hello everybody, welcome to my blind playthrough of Gone Home. I am Mental Fox and I thank you for joining me. This is a game that was uh, actually gifted to me from a longtime viewer. Uh, he goes by Terraniac and uh, I appreciate the gift. Uh, he actually gave this game to me about nine months ago and I'm just now getting around to playing it. I'm very excited about it. I know very little about it so this is uh, about as blind as you can get. I haven't seen any screenshots really other than just a, a shot of this main screen we're looking at right now and I read the description of it on Steam and that description goes like this. June 7th 1995 1 15 a.m. You arrive home after a year abroad. You expect your family to greet you, but the house is empty. Something's not right. Where is everyone? And what's happened here? Unravel the mystery for yourself and Gone Home, a story exploration game from the Fulbright Company. I don't know anything about the Fulbright Company, other than I guess they made this game. I have uh, already done all the options, set my controls the way I want them. Hopefully it saved everything. So let's just uh, not waste any more time and let's just get started on Gone Home. Okay, these are keys to walk. Look around using the mouse. That's kind of cool. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Yeah, I've just been gone for a year. I'll take the shuttle home. You don't have to come pick me up. It's cool. It's fine. Uh, just as the description said, June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. Do you remember what you were doing on June 7th, 1995? I'd have to think about that for a bit, because I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, whoa, huh, very sensitive mouse. So we're here on the front porch. Oh, well, or the, uh, hmm, the enclosed porch here, I guess. Can we go out this door? No, we are here to stay. You know, I don't even know if this is a scary game. <laughs> is this a scary game? I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, I guess this is our uh, luggage. We are Caitlin Greenbrier. Uh, we live in Portland. Okay, Caitlin Greenbrier. Doesn't that look like the handwriting of someone named Caitlin? That does it to me. Ooh, there's a note. Hold Z to look closer. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want, it did say mom and dad, anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Hmm, that's kind of ambiguous. I don't know if Sam is a male or a female. And I, I guess this is her brother or sister, because it said, I don't want mom and dad to know. Huh. Wow. You have nothing to say about that, Katie? Grab soda can. Okay, I got the soda can. Am I supposed to do something with it? Can I throw it? Oh, okay. So we can interact with things. Oh, ooh, we could open this door. Let's open the door here. Uh, looks like a bunch of Christmas lights and uh, Christmas duck. Ooh, hoo, hoo, look what I found. I swear I did not know that was there. I know it totally looks like... <laughs> I look, it looks like I knew what I was doing, but I swear I did not know that was there. Take house key. Uh, let's see. Press 1 or I to check the contents of your backpack. Oh, well, look at Katie. There's Katie. Let's see here. Date of birth. December 12th, 1973. Okay, so she's a bit... So she's uh, 22 here in 1995. Okay. She has a boarding pass, a passport, and a key. A spare key that was hidden under old Christmas duck. 
Everybody's got a Christmas duck, right? Whoa! What the? What the? What the? What the? What? The, what? Oh man, is this a scary game? I didn't know this was going to be a scary game. I didn't sign up for this. What the hell was that? Was that, was that supposed to just be thunder and lightning? Because it was horrifying. I'm horrified now. Uh, turn lamp on. I'm going to turn that lamp on. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go back to looking on our backpack. Because I wasn't done. Here's our boarding pass. Dip, wow, a direct flight from Amsterdam to Portland. Oh no, we transferred in Cincinnati. What do you know? Okay, this is my boarding pass back from my year in Europe. Can we like look at the back of the boarding pass? I guess that's it. And then the passport. It's my passport. I got it to go on my Europe trip. Uh, we have journals here. Uh, we don't have any journals. That's a strange key to have for journal listening. Map. Front porch. We're going to map out our house here. All right. Uh, I feel like uh, we should be grabbing... Oh, we could exa examine it. Oh, okay, cool. Should be uh, examining, grabbing everything we could pick up as we just learned by picking up old Christmas duck there. Uh, you never know... Um, where you're gonna find something. Five ninety-nine. Okay, cool. Alright, Christmas duck. Yeah. I set you down. So, <laughs> all right, let's go in the house, right? Or is there is there more stuff for us to look at? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Somebody needs to change that light bulb. It's uh, a little scary. Front hall. Ooh, so there's like packing going on in here. A little scary. Front hall. Open folder. Read invoice. Wellspring Movers, Inc. Let's see. From Terrence Greenbrier. They moved from here to here. Lots of boxes. So they moved. What the hell? Nobody told her they were moving? Huh. Okay. Dear Katie... So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Hmm, okay, so Sam is her sister, and this is the house that they moved into. At the new house, added to backpack. So that's a journal, and uh, we could click this to listen to that. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. But they don't have the internet? I guess in 1995, not everybody had the internet. I did, but I don't want to brag about it or anything. Alright, turn faucet on. Turn faucet off. Grab hand soap. Examine the hand soap. Sparkle hand soap. Okay. Put back. Oh, okay, cool. I could put it back where I got it. That's kind of nice. Can't use the toilet. We could flush it, though. Damn, that was one loud flush. Examine magazine. Freelancing tips and tricks from the pros. Author magazine. Stephen King. 50 contests with up to $21,000 in prizes. Critiques the Art of Feedback. Get published. The Secret. The Secret. The Blank Page. How 20 Top Authors Conquer It. If there's a way to, like, look at the back of this thing, I don't know what it is. So we just look at the front. 
Uh, grab toilet paper. Soft plus toilet paper. The softest toilet tissue for your money. Now thicker. Quilted for extra strength and absorbency. Unscented. Okay, that's probably not a clue. Right? What's going on in here? Uh, let's see. Quick fix bandages. Okay. Uh, more bandages. Alright, hopefully we won't be needing those. Oh, we can even grab this toilet paper roll. See if there's a clue in it. Hmm. Not seeing a clue. Cleansing powder. Vax. Alright. Okay. And some hand soap. Alright. Okay. Let's open the sliding door. Some towels in here. And just some towels. Alright, you know. Nice bathroom. I'm going to turn on all the lights in every room that I'm in. Let's see if that updated our map. It did. It doesn't say bathroom, though. Let's close the door. Who leaves the door standing wide open like that? Well, who leaves their luggage out in the... F out in the what do they call that area? The front porch. Grab tissue box. It's tissues. Looks like yeah, a bunch of mail here. Yeah, we're going to turn the lamp on. Like I said, we're going to turn on all the lights. Read note. Directions to work from new house. Left on grab tree, right on bullhorn, exit right, blah, blah, blah. Travel time one hour, ten minutes. Holy crap, man. That's a long freaking drive. Sheesh. Should have thought that before you moved, maybe. Pretty crazy. See anything else we could look at in here? Some coupons. Huh. How important is this note? I don't know. I don't know how important the note is. Let's close this drawer and look in this bottom drawer. Anything we can look at in here? That nah, doesn't look like it. All right. We'll close the drawer because that's what a civilized person would do. Nope, nothing there either. Okay. Let's look in this room. It's a closet. Let's pull the string. Now we're trapped in the closet. Let's see, here's, uh, oh, can't I look at this? Forestry Service, Janice Greenbrier, Senior Conservationist. So I'm guessing that's her mom. Her mom is a Senior Conservationist with the Te Tekelma County Forestry Service. I've never been to Portland, so forgive me if I pronounce something wrong. It's actually one of the few places I have not been in the country. Over the Alps. Man, that is some scary sounding thunder. I'm sorry, that's scary. A novel traveling game for two to six players. Oh, the times they had playing this game. Boy, I tell you, those were the those were the days. Okay. So I guess all we were supposed to learn in here was that uh, her mother works as a senior conservationist for the Forest Service. Gotta love these doors that open both ways. I don't know about you, but I don't have any like that in my house. Ah, looky here. Have a doggone cool 17th birthday. Look how doggone cool that dog is. Remember, this is in 1995, so that probably would have been considered cool in 1995. Happy birthday, Sam. Uncle Harvey. Aww. Uh, one of two. Oh, okay, so it lets you know that there's another page to it. Okay. Alright, I'm glad I saw that, I guess. So there's an Uncle Harvey and uh, Sam... Well, Sam turned. Sam is at least 17 years old. We don't know how old this card is. Can't be that old, right? That says they just moved into this house. So I'm going to say that Sam, her younger sister, is 17 years old. Okay, the closet. Bathroom. I'm not going to go upstairs right off. Instead, we're going to go here. Okay. As you know, as is usual, there's a skull in the house. You know. I don't know about you, but I have skull. Hecho in Mexico. 
in my house here. I don't. Pick up one of my trophies. So she has trophies. Regional Track and Field Finals, April 21st, 1990. Girls 100 meter relay. First place, Jamie Bloom, Carla Jones, Shauna Rossi, and Caitlin Greenbrier. Okay. All right, so that's, oh, I can't look at the bottom or the top of it. I could just do this. So, she was in track and field in school. Here's another one. Old track trophy, regional track and field finals, April 22nd, 1991, girls long jump event, Caitlin Greenbrier, first place. Good for you, Caitlin. That's just great. Open cabinet. Close cabinet. Listen, not like there's anything in here yet. Okay. Nothing in here. You know what? Did I use that key to open the house? The, the door? I don't even know if I did. Spare key. That's all it says. So I don't even know if I needed that to enter the house. I don't even know. I don't know if it's for something else. Book. We could grab this book. Can't grab any others, so this book is probably pretty important. The Holy Bible. Well, that book is important to a lot of people. Open cabinet. Open cabinet. Close cabinet. Close cabinet. Okay, open drawer. Is that as far as it opens now? Read letter. Dear Jan. Remember her mom is Janice. It's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like you... Oh, where did I come, you, come up with you? Sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year? When we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. So I guess she's calling this a mansion in the woods. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just... Alright, I hope you heard that sound. Something creaking to our left. Make sure I have my headphones on correctly. I do. That was to our left. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So, how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on our big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, write back soon. I miss you, Rumi. Carol. Get over the past, Carol. It's over, Carol. You're not roommates anymore, Carol. Alright, I'm being a little tough on Carol, I admit. It's down here. Boone County, Telephone Directory, 1995. Okay. Turn lamp on. Hell yeah, turn lamp on. Keep hearing strange sounds. I'm going to turn on more and more lights. You know what? I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to shut this door because it's bothering me. There. And I'm going to close the folder. There. Here we go. Why does there have to be this very fake sounding storm going on right now? Okay, let's go in this room. Ah, oh, diggity doggone. Locked. Huh. Okay. So, um, did they move into this house when Caitlin was away on her European trip? I guess they did. So, which makes it doubly weird that she'd be like, Nah, you don't have to pick me up. I'll just take a shuttle to this house I've never been to before. That's cool. The, the Tomb of Youth? The Tombs of Youth. I wonder if that means anything. Algeria for... Oh, Algebra for Beginners, my bad. My bad. Sorry about that. Well, that's kind of cool that these books actually... Um, you can read them, some of them anyway. I like that. Moby Dick or the Whale. You know, I've never read Moby Dick. Should I read Moby Dick? Let me know. Uh, the Collected Works of Oscar Wilde. All right. Okay. Well, that's all we could do on that side of the house. Um, as far as our inventory goes, not sure how we could pick these things up, if, if we even can. So I'm going to have to guess that that key is not for that room. So instead, we're going to go this way, and uh, we'll look through all this stuff. Because Caitlin is very curious. Read itinerary. Worldwide timetable, effective June 1st, 1994. 
Okay, that's kind of cute how they did that, so you can't see the phone numbers. Katie's departure, 7694. Flight 881, 1210 to Amsterdam. So she flew to Amsterdam and also flew out of Amsterdam? Hmm, okay. Uh, this must be on, like, Delta. Cincinnati used to be a Delta hub. Uh, I don't I don't think Newark was a Delta hub. Okay, that's fascinating information. Uh, I'm starting to hear sounds behind me again. Why is this important? I guess maybe just for the date, so I don't know. More proof that, yes, she's been gone for a year, maybe? Closed drawer. Uh, another phone book. Read notes. Sam. Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Hmm, Daniel. Daniel the total weirdo. Huh. Ooh. I'm gonna play messages here in just a moment. Turn the lamp on, of course. Grab phone. Nothing in here. Okay, let's listen to some uh, phone messages. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Who the hell was that? Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Who is this? Please be there. I mean, that doesn't sound like a guy's voice. So. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, we heard her leave that message earlier. I guess that's all the messages. So somebody is calling Sam and wondering where she is. We don't have phone service. Oh man, this is a scary game, isn't it? 